Hi everyone, it's me, Liz. Um, first, let me start off by apologizing for my hair that I literally just washed it, let it air dry, and this is my hair in all its natural glory. Frizz, poof, everything. <clears throat> With that being said, it is now officially Tuesday, and I am two days away from my surgery date. I get sleeved on Thursday. Anyway, with that being said, um, I wanted to share a little story with you. Something that happened to me yesterday. Now, I don't know if you had to go through this or how many of you have to go through this, but my surgeon in particular requires me to do a nicotine test to prove that I in fact am have been nicotine free for six weeks prior to surgery. Now, I used to smoke. I start, I picked up smoking at the age of 16 um, and I quit smoking at the age of 27, um, August 13th, 2015 to be exact, when I found out I was pregnant. It was my last cigarette that morning and I picked up smoking again October of 2017 now I quit again on July 13 2018 cold turkey no chewing tobacco no not chewing tobacco no nicorette gum is what I meant to say no no aid of any sort I just went cold turkey so, in any case, I had blood work done on August 18th, and I was under the impression I was doing my nicotine test that day, along with some other blood work for the surgery. I got a phone call saying, hey, Miss Elizabeth, you know, um, your blood work lapsed, so we need you to retake it because it expired for the date of your surgery. Okay, fine. I retook the, the blood work. I redid the blood work August 25th. So then, when I went in for my pre-op, I was told that they don't have the nicotine results yet, nicotine test results yet, because it takes 10 days to come in. And my pre-op appointment was the 28th or the 29th, I can't remember the exact date. But um, it takes 10 days. Okay, fine, whatever, cool. I know I'm fine. My last cigarette was July 13th, so I'm good, I know I'm good. So, whatever, fine. Come yesterday, Monday, just three days before surgery, I get a lovely phone call from the schedule coordinator from my doctor's office asking me, Miss Elizabeth, did you refuse to take the nicotine test? No, I did not. Why are you asking me this? Well, we don't have the results in, and it's actually not showing up that you did the blood work. Excuse me? Do you people understand how angry I was? Like, I'm gonna just pause right there. I was actually very livid at this point because this is now three days before surgery and I was in your office two weeks before and no one caught the fact that the blood work was never done. Okay? But, whatever. Whatever. Okay? I'm, I'm going to proceed. Anyway. So I go, I tell the woman, I go, you do realize that my surgery is scheduled for three days from now. And the doctor specifically told me that if I have, am not nicotine free for six weeks prior to surgery, he will not do the surgery on me. And she says to me, I know, I understand, but she just rambled on. She says to me, I'm going to find out what happened. I go, yeah, and can you please keep me informed because I am extremely pissed off about this. Because this is three days before surgery. And then she says to me, well, you know, I don't think that he will reschedule your surgery because of this. As this is not an error on your part. And I'm thinking to myself, the keyword of perspective there is think. That does not mean that he won't. But whatever, I'm letting it go letting it go so we hang up I'm angry I'm tired because I only slept like an hour Sunday night 
and I was trying to sleep. Of course, I couldn't sleep because I was just so angry. So, so angry. So then about, I want to say maybe an hour and a half later, I get another phone call from them. Oh, we found out what happened. Somebody canceled the order. Who would cancel the order? Why would they cancel the order? Is what I would love to know. So, she then says to me, your surgeon says that he's going to, he's, going, he's not going to cancel your surgery because he does believe, he does in fact believe that you have been nicotine free, but for health ins insurance reasons, you still have to do the nicotine test. So, you have to go in today to take the test. Really though, you're lucky I have, I'm not working. You're lucky I could go in today. Fine. I will go in. So, I went in at I went in today at a quarter to four. Well, not today. Well, yesterday. At a quarter to four. So, I'm going in. I'm talking to the lab technician that's there. And she says, we're talking, going back and forth. And she goes, you seem a little irritated. So, I explained to her what happens. Woman straight out told me that is straight up bull. That once it is put into the system that you need lab work it cannot be removed the blood work has to be drawn the blood has to be drawn okay so basically somebody effed up great and they catch it three days before my surgery all right I mean, luckily, luckily, my surgery is still scheduled for Thursday. However, yesterday was an extremely stressful day for me, as if I haven't been stressed enough. Anyway, just wanted to share that story with you guys. Um, I will keep you posted. I will um, post another video on Wednesday before my surgery, um, the night before, and probably in, in the morning or during the day I'll do another video on Wednesday um, for you guys and just kind of share a bit of information for you, with you guys just kind of last-minute thoughts all right talk to you later bye